ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਲੂਈ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈ ਨਿਊਜ਼ੀਲੈਂਡ ਤੋਂ ਮੋਰਨਿੰਗ ਗਾਇਸ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਆਲ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਮੰਡੇ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂਜੂਅਲੀ ਅ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਡੇ ਆਫ ਵਰਕ ਫॉर ਮੀ ਹਾਵਰ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਡੇ ਵੇ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗੇਟਿੰਗ ਮਾਈ ਵਿਜ਼ਡਮ ਟੀਥ ਆਊਟ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਅ ਵਾਇਲ ਸਿੰਸ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਬੀਨ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਗੇਟ ਮਾਈ ਵਿਜ਼ਡਮ ਟੀਥ ਆਊਟ ਹਾਵਰ ਡਿਊ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ and army exercises and other things i've had to reschedule several times so today is finally the day where i'm getting my wisdom teeth out i literally have no idea what to expect i was talking to somebody yesterday about it and they said to me that after the general anesthetic wears off then it's very painful so let's see how it goes and i'm pretty sure afterwards as well you can't have any hot food or hot drinks so i won't be able to have any char or any hot dishes for dinner so that's going to be interesting <laughs> my appointment is just under an hour guys in the military camp so i'm going to quickly have some hot char and some hot toast while i still can and then i'll make my way there and get them out <laughs> i was actually thinking about bringing you guys with me however i'm not sure if i'll be allowed to bring my camera into the dental clinic but Let's see. I'll try to, but if I'm not allowed to then I've got my phone, so maybe I'll be able to record on my phone. I'm not sure if I'm going to be completely knocked out or just get my mouth numbed while they do it. I honestly have no idea what to expect, so let's see how it goes. <laughs> so the dentist said that with my wisdom teeth, there's no actual issues with them. They've actually come through. They've actually come straight through into the right position. He said that some people's wisdom teeth come in on an angle and can cause disturbance to other teeth however in my case like i said um they've come through as they should which is good i'm quite lucky however they haven't fully come through so they're going to have to cut some of the gum away in order to get to the teeth and then rip them out it's all pretty <laughs> intense but let's honestly let's see how it goes just enjoy my last hot cup of cha before i can't drink chai for like a few days i don't know i'll see what the dentist says all right guys off to the dentist now so just did that last teeth brush that you do just before you go to the dentist to make the dentist happy i don't know if they're going to let me in with my camera but i'll try my best but i'll let you know how it goes either way so let's go guys it's absolutely freezing you know when you have to roll the window down to see if anyone's coming the other way no nah, we're good about 4 degrees outside it's pretty cold yeah there's still quite a few soldiers going for runs in the morning or walking why are you walking all right guys so i reached the dentist um i've decided just to leave my vlog camera here because i don't want to get in their way while they're doing the uh extraction of my teeth so I'll take my phone with me and if I get the opportunity to I might take some videos um at least before and after or something like that but um I'll touch back shortly wish me luck So guys all done I didn't take any video on my phone in there either purely because there were quite a few people in there observing some dental assistants and other people watching me get my wisdom teeth out so first of all they took an x-ray of my teeth and showed me what they were going to do what teeth they were going to take out and then they did some injections in my gums to numb my teeth and they took the bottom one out with no issues but when they started taking the top one out i started to feel some pain it wasn't completely numb so i raised my hand and they put some more numbness in my top gum the numbness is still there right now probably looks like i can't really speak properly because of my the side here is still completely numb so it must look quite funny i'm looking forward to looking at this later and seeing how funny i sound but i originally thought that they were going to take all four out two from the top and two from the bottom but they actually just took the side out it wasn't too bad like i said i felt a little bit of pain when they started doing the top one but they numbed it later so it was fine these are my teeth guys <laughs> oh man as you can see they're pretty yellow because this one here 
was actually trapped under some gum, so I wasn't able to access it when cleaning my mouth. So, yeah, enough of that. The dentist was great, guys. He gave me some uh, paracetamol and codeine for the pain. So, hopefully that helps. I'm not looking forward to when this numbing wears off because that's when the real pain's gonna come, but I don't know, let's see how it goes, should be all right. So just gonna head home now and have my first dose of these painkillers before the numbness of my teeth wears off, so let's go. Guys, just got home. I'm just gonna go and brush my teeth, get some of this blood out of my mouth and have, and have a rest. I uh, can barely speak. So it's been a few hours now, guys. It's about nearly two o'clock in the afternoon. I've had some painkillers and it's feeling a lot better now. The numbness has worn off, but thankfully I had some of those painkillers before it wore off. So it's a little bit sore, it's not too bad, but, but as long as I keep up this pain medication, then it should be fine. As you can see, I've cracked into some of the pain medication. I've also got these things here to put in my mouth, roll up and put in my mouth just in case bleeding breaks out. Uh, and the dentist also gave me a nice list of things not to do or to do or if something happens then follow those instructions and then they also signed me a piece of paper saying I don't have to be at work for the next few days so I can just rest and recover here which is good so now that I'm gonna be home for the next few days just resting up I can utilize my time by editing some videos for you guys in the future because this weekend I'm heading to Queenstown with my friend Ender and one of his other friends, Satinda. And after that, I've got a busy week at work. And then a few weeks after that, I'm heading back up to Auckland for another rotation, working in the managed isolation quarantine facilities with the army. Here in Christchurch, we are quite lucky guys because we are currently in what's called level two in New Zealand, which means we can go about our daily lives all we have to do is keep two meter distancing and wear masks when we are in malls and out in public. However, Auckland has been in level four for several weeks and now they're in level three, which is also still a lockdown where you pretty much have to stay at home and you can't really do a lot. So hopefully the restrictions in Auckland go away soon by the time I get up there. So when I get up there, I can catch up with people freely, go and visit the Gurdwari and just not be restricted to a room. But yeah, for the time being, just gonna rest and continuing to edit some videos for YouTube. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, check them out, let me know what you think. I really love and appreciate your guys' feedback. Obviously helps me improve, helps me grow. Reading the comments that you guys leave is always enjoyable. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> to all you guys that are subscribed, thank you so much for your support as always. And if you haven't subscribed, if you wanna follow my journey, make sure you do. But until next time guys, I will see you in the next video. Vahigurujika khalsa, vahigurujiki fatih.